Hey guys, welcome to our little water cooler on this side of the internet. Uh, of course, this week we do not have Malengo with us, at least not yet. He may join us a little bit later, but I do have with us the madman from the Bronx, Mad Mike. How you doing, sir? Hey, d I'm doing fine, Sorg. How are you doing today? All right, all right. Uh, ready to, to have some fun kicking off podcast day as we usually do on the Tuesdays. Uh, Malengo got tied up with some stuff, so life happens sometimes, Mike. He's dancing. <laughs> Indeed it does, sir. Indeed. I, I always dance. You know why? Because we saw some awesome trailers That's this weekend. That's true. Yes, we did. Uh, of course, the Super Bowl was this weekend. And I figure, if nothing else, we, we got to talk about this stuff, even if Malengo can't make it in. Um, so I figure we'll get right into it. Uh, what, which trailer, uh, well, right off the bat, which one? Uh, I think I know the answer to this. But which trailer <laughs> uh, uh, really got got your attention there? Uh, on, on on Sunday night during the Super Bowl. Sorry, I'm going to put it this way. I spent more time watching the Spider-Man 2 extended trailer than the Broncos did in the end zone. <laughs> that's, that's, not a, that's not a high mark there, though. Okay, then the Seahawks did in the end zone. Okay, all right. All right. Um, so, so and this was... We, we talked about it a little bit before the show. It really seemed like... Um, they they did more teasing trailers than actually showing trailers during the Super Bowl. Typically, we would get maybe a minute, minute and a half kind of version of a trailer, and that didn't really happen this time. Yeah, but I, I don't remember the last time we actually saw like a good minute to minute and a half trailer mm -hmm. on the Super Bowl. I think they just want to start driving people to like sites where they can actually share it on social media and comment on that, that way, because... Uh, the Captain America trailer I didn't even see on the Super Bowl broadcast because apparently it happened before I started watching it. Mm -hmm. Like, because I didn't watch the anthem, so I, w I was watching the Puppy Bowl then. And apparently that's when the Captain America trailer was. And, and only a, only a little bit newer than than what we've seen before. Um, I we we had, were talking actually last night. I felt like the Spider Man one felt like a little bit of a rehash. Uh, although there is a little bit more of Jamie Foxx before he's Electro. Uh, let's go back to it. What, what do we think of Spider-Man so far going into this? I think Spider-Man 2 and what they're doing with that is a ballsier move than Marvel trying to make the Avengers. Really? Yes, absolutely. Uh, generally, um, with superhero movies, a rule of thumb is the more villains you have the more convoluted your story is going to get. I mean, case in point, Spider-Man 3, um, any number of the Batmans but besides the Jack Nicholson one. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much any superhero movie that's had more than one villain, sometimes it gets a little bit harder to keep track of it. And this Spider-Man universe is looking to make a Sinister Six, it looks like. It seems like it. I, I feel like I feel like this film is going to be on the cusp of Sinister Six. Yeah, like I we got you know uh, we're confirmed to have Rhino Hob or not Hobgoblin, but some Goblin of some sort. Uh, <laughs> mm, we it hasn't really locked down. We know uh, uh, you know Harry Osborn's showing up on this one, um, and of course Electro. So I mean, there's there's at least a, a terrible three or something uh, in this. Uh, but I like you know we we didn't do a full on reveal in the first one. We kind of stopped it. it. It really feels like a lot of the the Spider Man origin one. Yes, they're they're venturing into this whole conspiracy theory theory side, which I've always from the first movie. It, if the first looking at the first movie for Amazing Spider Man was like, oh, they're doing Ultimate Spider Man for the most part. And it, and it really does feel like it. Um, you know, Gwen's a bigger part of this. I wonder if they do get into Mary Jane at some point here. Um, I don't know. And it, it doesn't look from like they're going heard, to yet. I've heard Mary Jane's been cut from the movie. Like all, uh, sure. I heard Mary Jane was cut from the movie. And I think that's fine. You know, um, I think just people don't remember Gwen Stacy being a part of. Spider-Man because it's so long ago in the comics at least um, and I don't think they touch on Gwen in a lot of the newer cartoons either so the spec Spidey they did spec Spidey was all about Gwen was it okay yes yeah spec I mean specs sp the spectacular Spider-Man my favorite version of Spider-Man ever um, 
had a lot to do with Gwen. It still had Mary Jane and a lot of those other supporting characters and all that, but it was about the Spider-Man Gwen love story. And that's what I do like about uh, this new movie series. But I'm really curious to see what they do with his dad. Mm-hmm. Because Richard Parker has never really been explored that much, even even in the Ultimate Universe. Like, he was responsible for Venom, but other than that, like, we didn't really get much of it, much of else of anything out of him. And I don't know why. I feel like Richard Parker is going to be alive. Could be, could be. Um, Chachi's going nuts in the chat room uh, about <laughs> Batman Begins had Scarecrow in the league and had Joker. Rises had Bane. You can say even you know, Rises had Bane. Yeah, and I didn't like Batman Dahlia. Begins. I didn't like Dark Knight Rises. Um, I Dark would... Knight had Joker and at the end Two Face. True. Once you get past two villains, mm-hmm. that's when it starts to get a little gray. No, I think they do it right where the majority of the movie was Joker and then Two Face just kind of gets stuck in at the end there, and and you don't yeah. have to go much more into it. Yeah, I remember when I first saw Dark Knight, I didn't think we were going to get Two Face because I knew Harvey Dent was in it, so obviously you know mm-hmm. seeds are being laid. But I didn't think we would get Two Face. Kind of the feeling I feel like we're getting with the Amazing Spider Man, where where we're laying seeds. We could see a Sinister Six just pop up at the end. Maybe they just throw powers on some thugs and that's it. Well, in the trailer, I mean, in, I played the video game of Amazing Spider-Man, which takes place after the first movie. So it's kind of interesting because they talk about Alistair Smythe. Mm-hmm. Um, in the video game, they had Scorpion. And they talk about Alistair Smythe doing all sorts of experiments. And in the trailer, they show Vulture Wings... They show octopus arms, and as far as we know, Kirk Connors is still alive. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they have seven or eight villains lined up because they've also said Alistair Smythe is going to be in the movie. So that's another villain that you can just tack on to any sort of Sinister Six that you might want to do. All right, real quick, keeping in the Marvel universe, what do we think of uh, Captain America here? Uh, it, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It really uh, still kind of has the feel of Avengers, but not quite as big. I mean, we still we're going to have a lot of a lot of heroes in this. Falcon's going to be in, and of course, Black Widow's going to be back. Um, but it definitely feels more modern. Uh, it's going to be a big change from the the first one. Um, what do you think of it so far? Um, well, I, I go to Ed Brubaker for my Captain America opinions, because mm-hmm. he's the one writing, or has written Captain America. I think he's still on the book. And he said that Winter Soldier is the best Marvel movie they've ever made. Mm-hmm. And it really looks like it. I mean, you have mini helicarriers, you have Falcon, you have Winter Soldier being a huge badass, and no reveal in the trailer, which I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people probably do not know who the Winter Soldier this, is. I love this because I'm sitting there and I, and and I don't you know I'm, I'm you know I'm watching it with my wife and I'm I'm like, hey, this is gonna be fun. He's like he's like you, I was like, do you, do you know who Winter Soldier is gonna be? And she's like, oh, I don't no idea. I was like, I can't wait to go see it and 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 they do that reveal. Uh, I hope people remember him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Because he, he looks a little <laughs> different. <laughs> Just, I mean, I mean saying. seriously, anybody can go Google the Winter Soldier and figure out what they're doing, unless they do some kind of swervy thing that he's not what he is in the books, which they could do. Um, they completely could do. I'm pretty sure it's the same actor. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure. It's, I'm pretty sure it is too. <laughs> and they did show him a bit more on this one, on, on this last trailer. Yeah, and I, I like. I still love that he reaches out and grabs the shield yeah that that that, that is pretty good and finally on trailers i want to get to transformers for uh age of extension we have dinobots sorg why did they keep pulling me back in with transformers movies <laughs> you because i didn't want to see this one. one i but there's such a dirt there's no shia labeouf on this one there's there's gonna be there's gonna be dinobots it looks like there's gonna be predacons uh from from the looks of things um there's <laughs> freaking optimus prime riding a dinobot <laughs> why not I, uh, what why why do they keep pulling me back in i don't want to see this like i saw the first one the first one was fine it was enjoyable it was a good attempt mm. the second one 
nailed Starscream, so I was okay with that. I After I saw one. the third one, I'm like, oh, this could have used some Megan Fox, and I never thought I would say that. <laughs> That's okay. You'll get her in Trans... Or, I'm sorry, Ninja Turtles. Stop it. I don't <laughs> want to think about that either. Michael Bay confuses my feelings. If of he course. makes a He-Man movie next, I'm fuck. I'm out. I'm out. Only if, like, Dolph Lundgren at least has a cameo in it, so we can acknowledge that. I mean, he's still doing if stuff, Dolph obviously. Lundgren is Skeletor, I'm back in. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll do that. He kind of <laughs> looks like Skeletor without the makeup, so you don't even have to worry I about know. it. I it'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, you had a couple news items you wanted to, uh, uh, to talk about here. We have a Lex Luthor, Sorg. We have a Lex Luthor, and he built the Facebook. I'm pretty sure that the people who are doing Batman versus Superman misread the internet when the internet was calling for Heisenberg <laughs> he read Eisenberg which I mean it's a lot younger Lex Luthor than I kind of imagined mm -hmm. I don't it, sh it might be okay I still I, like, I don't know if I can picture Jesse Eisenberg bald. Do you think they're going to make him bald? I, I really hope they don't do a Gene Hackman on this thing. <laughs> he could he could be. I mean, I think, of, like, look at Michael Rosenbaum uh, in Smallville. I know we keep going Sork, back to that. Sork, I always look at Michael Rosenbaum in Smallville. <laughs> <laughs> I always I mean, do. He's going to be my Lex Luthor until the end of time. He is. He is. He was definitely better than Kevin Spacey um, in the long run, I think. Uh, but that movie had a lot of other faults. Um, they'll do something to make it awesome. I'm sure it, 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 it wouldn't be great though, if they started him like with the, the red hair and he loses it like during the course of the movie or something, um, you know, as he's done at various, I think different points as far as the, uh, the books go and, and other series and everything like that. I, I'm excited for it. I mean, it, it's, they keep adding like levels of awesomeness to this movie that I can't even comprehend at this point. But again, but they're adding a lot of unintroduced people. Okay. They're adding, they're, like, superhero movies are notorious for having to do origins. Is this going to have a Batman origin? Is this going to have a Wonder Woman origin? Is this going to have a Lex Luthor origin? Like, is there another villain? Or is it just Batman and Superman up against Lex Luthor? Because that seems one-sided. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, unless Lex Luthor is, like, contracting Batman out to stop Superman. I think either way it's going to be fun. Either way, this is going to be a blast. Judging by how they handled the first meme, I think it's going to be a blast. So, uh, speaking I'm, of which, and I'm I know you have an opinion on this, uh, we were talking yesterday about what they're doing with the Justice League and the DC Universe animated. Uh, Justice League War, which actually comes out today, February 4th, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um is uh, going to be the beginning of a new shared co continuity that they're going to do, which is basically going to consist of in including this Justice League War, which is based on the new 52 first story for uh, Justice League on the book, and then Son of Batman, uh, which is the Damien introduction story that, again, is included uh, sort of with new 52, but it's not really new 52. I was going to say, Damien started before the reboot. Right, right. But they're, they're still kind of including that story as part of canon. Um and well, that's because Batman didn't have to reboot. That's true. That's true. Batman. Batman was the only, I think, the only franchise in New Fifty Two that didn't have an entirely new continuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely took elements from the older, still Nightwing. Uh, the Robins are certain people. Um, uh, the Batman Inc. still is a thing. So Batman Inc. kind of weirdly crossed over as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I mean, that's a whole other thing. It, that's that, aside from that. So so the plan is, as, as we discussed last night while we were doing a hangout. Uh, it was. It's going to be uh, one Batman, one Justice League every year, and then one not necessarily in continuity movie, which the first one for 2014 is going to be Batman Arkham, uh, presumably based on the Arkham Asylum, Arkham City games uh, that have been coming out the last few years. I really hope they get the same voice actors for that. I was going to say, if they have Tara <laughs> Strong and Mark Hamill, yeah. count me in. Yeah. Count me in. I don't personally like the Arkham games. They were a little too convoluted for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm just a different type of gamer, but um, I heard the story is amazing. I would love to see it played out in an animated movie. Yeah, so I'm okay with that. But as far as the new Fifty Two, 
I have my misgivings, given that I don't like any of the books I've read in the New 52. We'll agree like to disagree old... on that as well, because I've been having a lot of fun with some of them. You, you haven't even, have you read Court of Owls, Night of Owls? I do want to read that. I've heard that's very I good. I think that would change um, your opinion on New 52 being a complete bust. Okay, it, it'll, but Bat... It's easy to write Batman. It is. It is. Let's but be no, honest. But no, no, it's this, easy to write is, Batman. This is a different Batman. This is a, yeah, but that's a whole other show. That's a whole other show. Um, I did see yes. a movie this week that we can talk about briefly. Oblivion with Tom Cruise, Mike. Isn't that Elysium with Matt Damon only worse? You know, I started, you know, as I was watching it, <laughs> I was confusing the movie trailers. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so there's people that live up in the thing above the world, right? Oh, no, that was the one with Matt Damien. Oh, all right. Um, a pretty fun twist to it. Um, it, it I, I, you know, again, kind of going into it with really little expectations. Um, but uh, uh, basically, Tom Cruise is on a planet. There was some kind of war. It's like 2070 something. Um, and he's been for some reason, mind wiped and put on earth to, uh, with a partner who he of course falls in love with being uh, uh, stuck in a, a box with a, a with a, a pretty attractive redhead is going to do that to you, I think. Um, <laughs> and he's supposed to be servicing these fusion reactors. And the story is supposedly everybody went off to a colony on, uh, I think it's one of Jupiter's moons. Actually, I think it's one of Saturn's moons, Titan. Um, and uh, and his tour of duty is almost over. Uh, and there's something called the tent, which is what he's communicating with up above uh, the atmosphere. Uh, and then we find out it's not what it seems. And Morgan Freeman shows up to set us straight. Also, guy that loses the hand in Game of Thrones pops up again. Um, which Why I does this sound like Wally to me? It is kind of Wally. It is kind of <laughs> Wally. So Tom Cruise is Wally, but he already has his. Um, Eve, isn't it? Eva. Is Eva? He, he already okay. has his Eva, but he kind of finds a new Eva, and then he finds out what really happened to all the rest of the people. But I can't tell you if Wally or this one's a sadder um, um, resolution. Conclusion. Okay. <laughs> I don't know well, if I mean, what happens Wally in Oblivion. Did, and the, and... just told us that the Earth was full of fat asses, so we had to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's sadder with the fat asses or sadder the way Oblivion handles it. Uh, either way, it's on HBO right now. Watch it on HBO Go. Um, so uh, uh, definitely, definitely worth you know taking taking the two hours to go ahead and watch it. It was a fun movie. It was a good action movie. Good kind of a little bit suspenseful, you know. Um, so have fun with that. So it, now you watched something recently, American Hustle, right? I saw American Hustle. Oh, it's so much fun such a it's a long movie mm -hmm. i'm gonna throw this out there uh, at jump street it's about two and a half hours so so be ready for the long haul on this one yeah if you get the leader dasani water at your cineplex um i recommend not doing that or wearing <laughs> a diaper uh because you don't uh, like honestly the movie it chugs even though it doesn't feel like it at times like it really goes through the goes through the moat like the plot really well mm -hmm. um the christian bale is fantastic throughout like just because <laughs> the last christian bale movie i saw was dark knight rises and this is as far of a departure from that as possible and it's fantastic uh just the mannerisms he does it's, it's all very like con artisty it's fantastic um Amy Adams is tremendous in it, and as we just saw in the trailer, Jennifer Lawrence doesn't really do much in the first half of the movie, and I was kind of confused as to why people were praising her. But in the second half of the movie, she kind of takes over, like takes over the whole scene and kind of steals every scene that she's in. And to anyone who's been to Long Island or has talked to someone from Long Island, yeah, she nails it. She absolutely nails the Long Island, like, character. Uh, some people say her accent's off. I say those people have never been to Long Island. But just such a fun movie. Like, a lot of laughs, a lot of good, you know, drama bits. And it's just, it's a good, um, like, it's a really good uh, kind of a brain teaser movie to figure out how it's all going to work out in the end. 
Okay. Because it, it's kind of like oceans. It's kind of like the oceans movies in that way. Okay. Only involves the eighties and mobsters, and there's a great cameo, like towards the end of the movie that was just so much fun. Yeah, so I highly recommend going to see it. Awesome. So we got two picks this week. Of course, American Hustle, I believe, is still in the theater. Um, yes. Oblivion is on HBO Go. And, of course, all those trailers that we talked about are up on uh, uh, YouTube for you to check out. Of course, uh, Malengo should be back with us next week. Go check him out. He's uh, tweeting a lot of stuff all week long at Rambling Mango on the Twitter. Uh, I'm at Sorgatron. And I, I, I tend to talk movies every once in a while. More or less, it's uh, wrestling and comic books oh my god the comic books i've been reading lately <sighs> still enjoying that superior spider-man you need um, to catch up on smallville I, uh, wait, i'm sorry i have a marvel unlimited subscription i'll have to check the library and see if they have the new small villain yet but i did i did pick up uh, this offshoot but i did pick up um the last of my flashpoint spinoffs with the green lanterns and uh the, the of course the night of owls uh trade uh, that, okay. that was talking about. So that's fresh in my mind on that one. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll talk to you about why you're wrong about the new 52 off air. Uh, so until then, we'll see you guys next time on the movie minute.